So a few weeks ago, when I was talking about Salad no Kuni no Tomato Hime, I talked briefly about the low quantities of adventure games released on the NES. And I had completely forgotten that Tombs and Treasure exist. Which should tell you everything you need to know about Taiyo no Shinden. I'm still not 100% convinced it's real. It might just stop existing again once I stop thinking about it. In fact, the most interesting thing I know about the game is about the NES version. It was the only console game released by text adventure maker Infocom, though they had been bought by Activision by that point. Taiyo no Shinden is actually a sequel to a game called Azteca. Those were adventure games by Nihon Falcom, the most important computer game developer in Japan in the 1980s, and they'll never touch the Famicom themselves. Porting duties were handed off to Compile, and in this case, they seem to have done a pretty good port. Or at least they added a lot of features to streamline some of the clunkier things about the computer versions. The story is that a professor was investigating Mayan civilizations in Mexico. Yes, I know the game is Azteca too. He found out that a seal on ancient evil power was being broken, and then mysteriously died. His daughter and her boyfriend go off to Mexico to investigate. Once there, they meet Raul, the professor's partner, and together they form a party to investigate the ruins. As a player, what you're doing is tinkering with some ancient mechanisms, finding treasures and putting them in the correct place, and occasionally fighting some monsters. The monsters are a bit strange. There's a kind of RPG combat system, but the only commands that really matter to it are fight or move. And destroying a monster gets rid of it permanently at that location. So the monsters are really there as gatekeepers to keep you out of sections of the game where you're not quite ready for them yet. If you're playing without a guide though, it's going to take a bit of experimentation to know what you can defeat and what you can't. The interface uses icons rather than text menus, and the menu is wider than the icons that you can see. You can just keep hitting right and there will be more options. After you've picked an action, you get a cursor in the image, and it snaps to any object that you can interact with. That's actually pretty nice. There's no real guesswork in what you have to click on. It's a pretty friendly way to do a graphical adventure interface on the Famicom. An unusual option in the interface is to change characters. Your main character is the only one who can fight. Your girlfriend can do some things like play music while Raul is there for his physical strength. I found some of the icons a bit obtuse, but fortunately there's text as well. I can't say I think much of the puzzles in Taiyo no Shinden. There's one section in particular where you have to do a set of actions, then go to a new location, do something there, then return to the first location, do the exact same thing all over again, then go back to the second location and do the exact same thing all over again. That's the most extreme example, but most of the adventure seems to consist of use the correct item in this spot, with very little lateral thinking. It's also possible to put the game in a dead man walking state. That's where you can't complete the game, but the game keeps going on anyways. The very first thing that you need to do when you start playing Taiyo no Shinden is go to this building and get this crystal. Using that crystal gives you the password for your game. There isn't a battery save for this one. I found walking around outside in the ruins to be very annoying in Taiyo no Shinden. Because the game scrolls at the screen, and there are structures at the very edge of the screen, you can't tell that you have to maneuver around something until it's already in your way. That's the only significant complaint I have. But at the same time, there's very little in Taiyo no Shinden that will thrill someone. It is a distinctive game on the Famicom, but it seems to have made no impact in Japan. People seem to like the unique setting, but also aren't very enthusiastic about the game itself. The biggest thing about Taiyo no Shinden is what happened afterward. The team that developed the original game decided to make an action RPG instead. And given their love of lost cities from around the world, they went with the name Ease. And they even slipped some references to Taiyo no Shinden into their other game. <laughs> 